Well, Manny, we'll end up seeing a little bit more sunshine for just a couple hours longer before we see cloud cover moving in. A low chance for a sprinkle this afternoon. Otherwise, tomorrow brings us a severe potential. Here are your current temperatures as a lot of us are quiet. We've seen that sun come out. 76 degrees in Roscoe, 75 in Rockford, 77 in Freeport. We're going to continue to climb, breaking into the low 80s. Now we do end up seeing clear skies right now, so soak in the sunshine. Here's the activity that may reach us with a little bit of cloud cover as it sinks further into the southeast. That'll take it through the state line. Might notice a couple passing clouds, if not a light sprinkle, as we are still in need for some rainfall. Here is your updated drought monitor. You can see that beige color right near the state line, really getting as low as closer to Dixon. That is moderate drought, so still seeing some areas of drought within the area. Even a part of uh, Boone County, the further uh, northern tip there still seeing a severe drought, so still in need of some of that rain. But thankfully for today, at least for the Boone County Fair, we are going to stay mostly dry. You'll see a couple clouds moving through temperatures into the low 80s as we do end up falling into the 70s later into this evening. Overall, a perfect day to go enjoy some of those tractor pulls. For the rest of our day today, we do stay mostly quiet. Again, might notice just some isolated sprinkle as some cloud cover moves through. You'll end up noticing even a light breeze winds up to 20 miles an hour as we drop into the 60s later tonight. Hang on to some of those clouds. Now that's going to be all ahead of a chance for sh more showers into your Friday. In fact, we may even see a severe potential for tomorrow. A two out of five for the entire area. If any of those storms become severe, damaging wind gusts, hail are going to be the biggest concern, but we can't even rule out tornadoes as well. So it's definitely a day we want to stay weather aware because we will have most of the ingredients setting up. We'll have first up is moisture. Dew points are going to climb into the upper or lower 70s, I should say. Lots of moisture there. It's going to be a little humid. We'll have wind shear and the energy needed to fire up some of these storms. However, there is said to be a, a strong cap tomorrow. So that's that warm air on the atmosphere that prevents any thunderstorms from breaking through. And along with that, we also have a chance for morning activity that could limit that uh, potential for those storms to develop later in the day entirely. So let's take a look at future track. Here's the morning showers expected for tomorrow. Here's about nine o'clock. It's going to be a soggy start to your Friday. May even see some pockets of heavy rain as this sweeps through and later into the afternoon. Really what happens in the morning is going to end up giving us a better idea of what we can expect in the afternoon. May end up seeing some of those stronger storms move through. But again, we'll have to see on how the environment can bounce back into your Friday. Otherwise, everything moves out, especially overnight as we welcome in lots of sunshine for your Saturday. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we do end up climbing still into those mid 80s before we briefly drop off into the 70s into next week with little to no chances for rain. Manny.